Here the left arm pulls the club right through the ball. You can see that the right hand is kept out of the stroke until it is time to put in the big punch. Even then, I find it best to think only of using the left. If I try to whip the club through with the right hand, I always get a hook like the one you saw a moment ago. Now this shows what I mean. First, watch the action of the left knee and foot during the backswing. Then look at the position of the left foot, which makes this possible. You can go from the ground up and see how the position of the foot affects the movement of the knee, and that in turn the action of the hips. At the top of the swing, my back is almost square to the hole. And then when the club meets the ball, see how far around my hips have turned. And here's another thing. Notice where the right arm is just before impact, with the elbow quite close to the body and bent slightly. The left shoulder has been drawn up a little and the right down. This position shows clearly how the left side has been pulling. From this angle, it is shown clearly that I don't make any effort to plant my feet solidly in the ground. As the hips turn going back, the left knee bends and the right leg straightens. The left heel comes up during the backswing and the heel of the right foot leaves the ground soon after the club starts down. Now, if you look over to the left side of the picture, you will see the clubhouse in the distance. The next picture you will see was taken from the balcony of this clubhouse overlooking the green. Now, I said a moment ago that your trouble was in your left side. More specifically, it's this. You're not turning your left hip out of the way fast enough. Your hip gets so far, and then it locks, and prevents your going through with a shot. It makes you hit the ball up when you know that it ought to be hit down. Now watch the left heel return to the ground just after the club starts down. The weight flows forward and downward as the club approaches the ball. And here you see what I mean when I say that the left hip turns out of the way. Notice that long before the club strikes the ball, the hip has turned far past the position it occupied at address. It is actually turning ahead of the stroke so that it offers no resistance to a free passage of the arms. Look at the left heel again, and observe that the weight settles on the left leg at the finish. Now this shot here illustrates a free hip movement which is not swaying. The hips shift a bit forward, but the head remains steady, and the shoulders merely turn. Came this from Tiger. What do you think of Tiger's drive on 18? like that. What have you changed in your swing in the last year since you were here, Tiger? Anything? <laughs>